Well, praise God, praise God, you lovely people on YouTube and on Facebook and to the whole wide world. <clears throat> My God, we had an awesome service today. New people is coming. I love the little, little tight, little small group that we would. I'm telling you, them people is going to another levels. I'm asking them questions. Have uh, Since they've been coming to uh, Perkins Church, have they learned anything? Are you doing better in life? And I tell you, the response was phenomenal. I appreciate the Sister Shades, the Sister Ashley's, the Sister Tamara's, the Sister Mary, the Sister Martika, the Sister Shelby. My God, um, uh, who else is it in there? Uh, there's some more people. I don't want to forget nobody. That's why I hate naming names because you forget people did and they be wondering why they didn't name you. And the brother Mike, brother Gary, my brother Willis, my God, brother Avan, all of them guys. I love you guys. You're a part of me in this ministry, regardless whether you there or not. The Bible said that you have people that's, uh, that don't come to your church, just but they are, they are your foe. They are your your flock. Come on, people that's in your life you know, that may not come and attend to your church, but you still minister to them through the week. I'm not going to get no help. Everybody looking at me funny. Everybody that comes through the door ain't your members. And everybody that's not coming through your doors is your members, if that, if that makes sense. <clears throat> Exodus chapter 34, verses 14, it talks about jealousy and most of us out there have been through some kind of jealousy we talked about that today in the church and everybody's hands went up because you found somebody that told you where are you going why you have to put lip gloss on if you're just going over your mama's house and you shot basketball with them yesterday and i called your friend leroy and leroy said you was there for like five minutes you cut out and you talking about you was there all day what is you doing are you cheating on me come on Exodus chapter 34, verse 14, says that God, his name is jealous. Come on, somebody. And if you sit in there watching this while you sitting there with your fiance or your husband or your wife and you know they jealous, just just look straight ahead. Look crazy like you don't know what I'm talking about. What are you, what are you talking about? Come on. Because jealousy is very dangerous. Jealousy, you can use a person for money. And you can end up, that person will take you out of here, especially if you take their kindness for weak. It's all right to beat up somebody's heart, but when you beat up somebody's heart and take their money, uh, Allie is about the only thing that they look to do to you if you keep doing them that way, if that make any sense. Exodus chapter 34, verse 14, it said, For you shall worship no other gods. Not your car, not your job, not your husband, not your wife, not your children. Come on. Uh, uh, what else? Not your pit bull, not your goldfish. Come on. Not your bank account, not how much money you got. Come on. None of that goes in front of God. Always put everything behind God, then God will bless you. He said, for you shall worship no other gods for the Lord whose name is Jealous. For ye shall worship no other gods, God, for the Lord whose name is jealous. My God. Verse 15, it said, be careful not to make treaties with those who live in the land for which they prostitute themselves to their gods and sacrifice to them. They will invite you and you will eat their sacrifice. Verse 16, and when you choose some of their daughters as wives for your sons, here we go, and those daughter prostitute themselves to their gods, they will lead your sons to do the same. Do not make any idols. And that, you can find that because that's what happened to uh, Samson and Delilah. He kept chasing them women and the women uh, uh, was the one that destroyed it. Delilah was the one kept on chasing him, kept on giving him some. And the next thing you know, Samson's nose was wider than the Atlantic Ocean. Could turn a small car around in his nose. Delilah had him so whooped. Come on. Anytime somebody tie you up and when you wake up, they point that there he is. He's the one, and when you break through, 
later on that night, you still lay where again and close your eyes. Something wrong with that picture. Come on, that means that he was dead, dead in that sexual sin, if we think about it. And what it's talking about in here, when you mothers and, and fathers don't watch your son and daughter, especially the sons, because a lot of people think that sons don't have to be watched. They need to be watched too, because if you're teaching them to be Christian boys and you allow them, watch this, to lay with anything, that's why you got to tell them, you're a young man, keep that in your pocket. You don't need everybody getting some of that and then getting pregnant and you got four or five children. Come on, talk back to me. It looks cute now. You bragging, passing out cigars or blunts. Talking about, man, I had another girl, man. This is my fourth child. That all sounds good until them babies take on your last name. Now you figured it'd make your life better. Now you want to get a job instead of selling dope. But you can't make it that way because they that child support eating up all that money from your first check. I'm not going to get no help. But this is trying to understand warning before destruction. Uh, and we're talking about family members and jealousy. We talked about today. Um, family members can be a mess, which we know. And we talked about Jaffa and his daughter, Joseph and his brother, the prophet's son and his brother, David and Bathsheba. These are all family issues and problems in there. Abraham, Sarah, and Hagar. Uh, Jacob and Esau and the mother, uh, Samson and Delilah, all of these is family. So when you look at your family and you know they're a mess, that's okay. Wipe your hands, brush it off, and keep on praying for them and go to another level. Samson and Delilah, Moses' mother put him in the Nile River. Come on, somebody. Rhea and Leech, uh, Ra Rachel and Leah was sister. They was both going with Jacob. Leah uh could have babies, Rachel uh, womb was bearing. Abraham and Lot. Lot never should have went with Abraham. The Bible said he told Abraham, go to your country, I will make your name great. Don't take no kinfolks. Get away from your kinfolks. He took his nephew, was, which caused him a lot of problems. Let's talk about Aaron and Miriam. Moses' brother and sister talked about him when he brought that fine black woman. I wish I had the sister that talked back to me. Moses brought that fine sister. He was holding her hand. And Aaron and Mary went to talking about what he's doing, marrying that black girl. See, that's why it lets you know, even through this scripture, I can piggyback off of this and bring it to 2023. Don't be prejudiced. Come on. Will you be prejudiced if you want to be by, uh, about black people and your daughter will bring home the blackest boy that she can find. The same way with you. You don't like uh, white people and your daughter will bring home the whitest boy that can, he can't even stand in the sun and get a tan. He's so white. The sun look at him and say, man, I can't even do nothing with him. He's too pale. I'm telling you when, you, when you live by the sword, you die by the sword. Whatever man sows shall you reap. If you preach uh, sec, uh, uh, prejudice, prejudice come back. It'll hit you right in the face. And the last one, but not least, Cain and Abel. That was for the tithes and offering that we be thinking about. Y'all like always be saying, oh, them pastors just want money. And I told y'all before, everybody want money. But when you're not in the spiritual realm, let me show you what it's talking about. When you're not in the spirit realm, you think everything is foolish. Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 14, listen to what it reads. It said, but the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit. He don't know. He, um, he operating strictly flesh. What he see is what it is. Watch this. Uh, of the Spirit of God. For they are foolish unto them, neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. Only way that you can get to know, uh, and we talked about it today, a drug dealer or a person that don't know God come into the church first time, basically. And you see Joan over there flopping with her wig. And I told the church today the wig falls off her head and lands on somebody else's head. And they bucket. And that wig transfer about three or four people. That drug dealer, that new person coming in, can't do nothing but laugh. He, he looks at it as foolish. 
And if we go to speaking in the unknown tongue, dear Heavenly Father, we thank you this. We start speaking in unknown tongue. It looks foolish, but a natural, but the natural man receives not the things of the Spirit. He can't see that yet of God, and they are foolish unto them. Neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. You can't push this in somebody. You got to be patient. You got to do it like you marinating some meat in the refrigerator. It takes time for that meat to get juicy where every bite you could taste the lorry seasoning salt. Every bite you could taste the, my God, the onion, garlic. And, and, and come on, every bite you could taste it because why? And to marinate in the bones, in the inside of the inner being person, my God. The person that God is going to look at, not your flesh. He ain't going to look at your flesh because he know he gave you the shot of a, a sin nature. So he can't look at the flesh. He going to look at what you supposed to be and see how you working closer to get to that person that was lost. But now you found. Come on, somebody. So this is what we've been talking about today. First Corinthians chapter two, verse 14. You can read that for yourself. And then we also talked about today in uh, Exodus chapter 34, verse 14. Read all that for yourself. And uh, my God, and, and place that to 2023. God is jealous. And you know what jealous is because you've been in jealous relationship. And that's why the Bible says who God loves, he chases. He'll put a whooping on you if you don't come to it. And in the natural, your boyfriend, your fiance, your husband, or your wife will do that too if you're cheating on them, if that make any sense, because they're jealous. So listen, have a beautiful day today. That's just a little hot word to get you through the week. Don't take that attitude with you tomorrow. And if you do, put it in the car with you when you leave to work. <clears throat> Most people have attitudes on money, but put it in the car with you. Fool it. Put it in the car with you and let, let y'all have a conversation like y'all do. Bet not talk to me crazy today. And you're, you're tricking the enemy on the other side. That's right. You going to tell them? Yeah, I'm going to tell them something. I might not have no job today. But I'm definitely going to tell them what they need to do and what they don't. And the trick of the enemy getting ready for you to lose that job, if that makes sense. Well, I love you all. You guys be blessed. Just a little hot word to get you all through Tuesday. Then I have to bring you another word to get you through Thursday. My God. If that make any sense. I love you guys. Be blessed. Have a beautiful day.